So, there is something you should know about Canonical, and that is? They can't develop good software! I know, it is shocking! So, bug report on App Indicators extension in GNOME 336! App Indicators is that thing here, and it comes pre-installed on Ubuntu! What causes are shell lags, and not only with Megasync as the original issue says, but with more apps! So Canonical thought, good performance or indicators? Performance? Poof, let's keep indicators! Now you're probably thinking, Coco don't be a bitch! It is just a bug, it can happen to anyone! Thing is, when they write code in Canonical, only bugs happen! Let me show you! So I'm opening settings, and go to application preferences! That is Telegram Flatpak, and I'm going to explicitly forbidden for running on background! Closing this, and I'm opening Telegram! And now we see the app indicator to our panel! I'm closing Telegram, and what's happening is that Telegram still runs on background, even if we have disabled the permission! Let me quickly show you with the Flatpak process command! So here it is, alive and running! And we still have the indicator on system tray! So basically we need to do quit for actually closing it! Now, I'm reopening Telegram and go to extensions! And here I will disable the app indicator's extension! I'm closing Telegram again! And this time if I check on Flatpak processes! Telegram doesn't run anymore! So this time Canonical thought, security or app indicators? Security? Poof! Let's keep indicators! Basically Canonical managed the unimaginable, with a simple extension killed both performance and security! And you guys may see all those like a joke and not a big deal, but if they were happening on Android it would be something totally different! This is not serious QA, and Canonical isn't a serious company if they can't make serious QA! And yes, Ubuntu developers contribute upstream enough! Not really a lot for Canonical size! but enough anyway! The difference is that that work gets a proper review from no maintainers, but when they do downstream patches, all the terrible things happen! So basically Ubuntu downstream patches is code that has been rejected upstream for very good reasons! And I'm not talking about the extensions! And I don't really like promoting Linux distributions, but if you want a good GNOME desktop, then you have two choices really! Either Arch Linux, or Fedora! Reason? They ship an original GNOME desktop, so whatever issue you will find you can just open it upstream! And bonus? It is easier to customize a default GNOME, than doing the same on an Ubuntu installation! 